The deal for the day is that we're gonna eat a bunch of food and then we're gonna kill a bunch of birds. So we just uh, we just saw Kawadi, Kawada Monday off the side of the road. So that's kind of cool. And you can shoot one in Arizona. You're allowed one a year uh, if you have an Arizona hunting license. But we kind of all looked at each other and no one wanted to shoot it. We just wanted to watch it. So that big male Kawadi is going to get a live. So that's all right. If I had a bow or if it was more of a stock, I think I'd be more interested. But it just felt like... Just felt like watching him, and so did Wade and Dan and, and Kyle. Everyone just kind of, we didn't need to kill it. So, anyway, cool to see. Really cool critters just running around out here. Well, we just moved camp locations to a better quail hunting spot. And uh, I don't think we're going to need to hunt in this evening, but we... Uh, we're gonna hit it hard tomorrow. And I think we have another person, hopefully, Wade's friend is gonna show up with two more dogs. And so we're gonna hit the quail hard tomorrow. Mern's, Mern's quail, that is. We're up higher in elevation, more in the oaks. And uh, according to Wade, that's where we need to be. So, I'm excited. Yeah, throw some potatoes in the coals, aluminum foil, and let's let them cook. Secret to this is finding them. How's that look? Try it. Ow. I guess I should look and see if it's red before I pick it up. Sweet. Okay. So that look tasty or what? It does. Heck yeah. Look at that. Perfect. I'm delighted. <coughs> delighted. mushrooms that we foraged at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically foraging, I think, when you get oh, That's a Walmart. wild place. Butter we churned. <laughs> 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 So we're we're just camped out. We're just gonna walk straight out of camp and kind of hit some of these canyons where we've got some good oak cover. We're looking at you know trying to find stuff that's 25 to 40 percent canopy cover oaks and look for diggings on the ground as we're going. And the dogs should do all the work. We should just be able to hang out and wait till they till they go on point and then do the attack on them. That's the plan. So we'll see. Shy, are you ready? That's good.
That's a good call, Kyle. It's a hen. We're at Quail Fest. Quail right? Fest. We are. So we're gonna go find out what Quail Fest's all about. <laughs> It's quail fest. I'm here to provide information about quail, where to go hunt them, all other stuff. We've got examples of the birds. Yeah. So this is the actual examples from the field. So we're just enjoying life here at Quail Fest. Damn, I can't believe I hit that. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks, man. That was a, an unexpected shot. I mean, an unexpected hit, anyway. Good boy. Oh, oh, that a boy. Good boy. Yeah. Nice. Young one. He brought it to me without showing it up. Shot at that. No, you got that, dude. Hell yeah, I hit one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My mission is complete. Dan needs the shotgun back now. I got one bird I gotta go. I just need him to be flying slowly about 10 yards away. Heck yeah. For some reason, they keep flying in my face. <laughs> Ducked like multiple times. No, this is this is really fun. Frustrating, but ridiculously fun. I can't hit the dang things, but uh, it's still fun shooting at them. Dan's uh, track record is substantially better than mine. I think what did you you've shot in? How many times did you shoot? Like three times? Three? And you've gotten two birds? Yeah. I don't know how many times I shot, but it's a lot, and I got one, so. But yeah, no, that's fun. We keep getting into a bunch of birds, too. Wade and, Wade and Trent know what they're doing. The dogs know what they're doing. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> All the hearts and stuff. She does get a little bit. You can tell which one she retrieves because usually the guts are squished out of them. Then you just break these. Oh, uh, yeah, you can break them off. I usually pluck them all the way out and then break them. I mean, not skin them all the way out. What's on the menu? 
sauteed mushrooms and Mern's quail with some baked potatoes in the fire. Can't go wrong. Three. Good job, Dan. Thank you. Go, oh, oh. It's okay, it's got a wrapper. That's it. Nice work. That was stressful. <laughs> Took you a minute and 27 seconds. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcus, how's it taste without using the word good? Amazing, fantastic, delightful. That other one's from Dan. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's awesome. Couldn't think of a better way to cap off our last night in Arizona than eating a bunch of super tasty quail. That's awesome. Well, it's our last day, last morning. So we're gonna go try to shoot some last minute quail before we gotta head back to the airport. So I'm up first. You are a one dog show right now. So you gotta, you gotta turn it on, man. Gotta turn it on. What a way to cap off a week in Arizona. Actually hit that one. Like, dropped it. I was kind of surprised with myself. All awesome. right. We got to head back though, catch a plane. But I'll hand the shotgun to Dan for one last little ride. Maybe we'll pick up another single. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Shy. You nailed that one. Yeah. You nailed that one. That was picture perfect for me. Like, just got up. I'm like, I got the one lane and it flew right, right down it. <laughs> oh, cool. Super cool. Awesome. Congrats, man. All right. One for one. Yeah, today I'm doing a lot you better. better. Quit. I bet I'm done. 100% <laughs> today. Dan, take the gun. <laughs> My week in Arizona was good. <laughs> was, great. was it delightful? It was great. Uh, we had a great time in Arizona and got to see Marcus get his first coos deer, which was pretty cool. And we both got our first Mern's quail. Ate really well and uh, got to hang out with Wade, which was a pleasure. So all in all, it's a great trip. What about your concluders, Wade? It was an unbelievable hunt. That's a getting, good adjective. Getting to know, getting to know Dan a little bit, hanging out with Marcus, and just 
and just exploring everything that we had to do down here. I mean, we, we hit a lot of different things. It was just awesome. So very, very great trip.